last thing I thought was a lubrication. A lubrication wasn't on the cards between um, Bayern Munich and um, PSG. I'm going to re reveal something in this review, but um, something that's very painful, but I'll save it till the end. So what happened here? Um, this Bayern Munich didn't play well. For the whole of the 90 minutes, Bayern Munich didn't play well. I don't care about how much possession you have. It is what you do with the possession. Bayern Munich, they looked disjointed. It's as if the players didn't know who each other was. There was hardly any connective tissue. You couldn't really see if there was actually any kind of chemistry or semblance to their play. Or as for PSG, they went ahead very early and they knew how to switch it. Because they were like, okay, fine, this guy's going to have possession. And they switched very brilliantly to a, a, a counter-attack. And I mean, I don't... this. Because people talk about Real Madrid's counter-attack. I mean, Nebabkov is something else. Because every time that Neymar or Mbappe had the ball, there was just so much quality on the ball. And they just looked so dangerous that every time they had that counter-attack, you, 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 you feared for for Bayern Munich. Um, PSG were just, you know, they look like a team who know what they're, they're doing. There's a chemistry to the team. There's already an idea. That's the sh thing that shocks me the most is that Mbappe and Neymar have already come in and already already understand what their football is, understand what their personality is. Because every team has to have a personality of their football and understand their personality already. I don't understand the personality of what I saw from Bayern. Long balls... You know, and the amount of... Because when a team is literally hitting the ball up to a winger, the winger is just trying to beat a man and just crossing into anywhere. Then you know, you know that, you know, you have no real confidence in your football. And I and I saw a lack of confidence in Ban. What they're trying to do is just try to force a goal. They won't really try to creatively walk towards a goal. They're just trying to force it by law of averages. We'll just try and cross it in or hit the long ball as much as possible and hope for a lucky bounce, hope for a PSG mistake and capitalize. Um, so PSG look, look good. Neymar is, is outstanding, and for me, I it's it pleases me greatly seeing great f f footballers play. Just seeing great football being played by great football players is one of the best things in the world. We have to ask this question. I've tried to hide it. I've tried to um, de deny it. I've come to his defense, but I saw them against um, Wolfsburg against Anderlecht. Now this, it's too many games in which Bayern Munich just look completely at a loss. I don't know whether it's the local, local room on the training ground, whether, whether there are things that we don't know about. It's not working. And we have to ask the question. That's it. All we have to do is just ask the, the, the question. Is Angelotti's time up? Or is this not working with him on Bayern? Because as of right now, it's not working. It really... And I think this all started off from I think it was that that match that they lost to Rostov. I think it was just three three two. Since then, Ban have never really been the same under Ancelotti. And I think because I look at I mean Muller was completely useless. You know, um, Lewandowski again. He was playing left wing. That's your striker, one of the top strikers in the world, and he's playing left wing. But you could just see in the body language a team who are not comfortable with what they are they're doing. Um, they don't really know what they're doing, and the team that just looks like if strangers. They seem like strangers. And going up against a team like PSG, who are so hungry for success, because you could just see the unmitigated hunger, desperation, that PSG have to prove their critics wrong. Because PSG, there are a lot of haters out there, but like, you know, overspend so much money. And PSG, you could see they're on a mission. Now, you know what? We're here to deliver. We're here to absolutely and totally disrespect every team you know, um, that comes before us. And I'm, I'm very excited. I pray to God that Mbappe, Neymar, Alves, these people, they don't get an injury because I want to just see how far this team goes this season. I don't think they want to win the Champions League this season. It's, it's too early, but I just want to just see this team in a quarterfinal situation, a second round situation, a situation where, where, where they're down, where let's see what, whether they have any character between them because look, this, is, this is still a test. So let's just see what they can do further on when, it's, when stuff gets really real. But very sad for Ban, and I and I've got to come and admit that I think, you know, we've got to consider Ancelotti's proposition for Ban because because this is too bad for too many times. And as for PSG guys, don't hate and just enjoy the ridiculous 
Mbappe is 18. He's 18. 18. 